So it's like you don't even get that much off of it. And then you just like up your nair. Oh well. Let's see how well let's see how well these two players do. Oh he's back! I've been lied to. That's crazy. I said I needed to hop off for a second. I oh. said I'll be right back. Oh. And you didn't believe me. Anyway, let's get into this next game here. Blank versus Nip. Now Blank yes. is a player from out in CT, I believe. There was there's I Nell like, and Blank like in attendance tonight, and oh. Nell is one uh, PR placement in CT over Blank. Huh? Hmm? Who's who's a PR placement over CT or uh, Blank? Uh, Nell, the guy who's seated second. Time. Nelvin? Yes. Oh. Uh, Which actually, I just realized if they're second and third, that means they would have to play in winter semis. Yeah. But anyway. Anyways. Ooh, I love the I love the patience, but could have reacted right. to that bomber. Yeah, let's take it. Let's get back to this game here now. What are your thoughts on this matchup? Because it seems uh, like a like a weird one. This is, I could I could like see Game and Watch just like not like destroying Peach, but like like you have to tailor your game plan super differently, and like that's really hard for like Daisy because like she'll she'll do like two things, and you can't even do you can't even do your combos anymore. Like you have to you have to do really well with your ledge trapping. Now one thing is that uh. Peach normally has very good shield pressure. Yeah. But Game & Watch is like the character that shield pressure doesn't work against. Oh, I think he wanted to parry that, but the timing was off. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, he definitely let go of shield too early. I was I was thinking he might have done something else. I think he was maybe trying to parry like a nair. You know, he was expecting a neutral air and was, did the timing for that. Yeah, but he was like super far from him. So like, even then. I Nair might have hit. That, yeah, it could have. But he was, fa he was fading back as well. Anyways, yep. uh, Blank's starting to get a bit of a lead right now. Oh, did you see the spacing on that up air, too? He, because if he was right underneath him, he probably actually would have gotten hit by the down air. But because he was slightly off to the side, uh, the Peach up air actually beat out the Game & Watch down air. So you can see that he has matchup familiarity, which, I mean, we don't, besides Ling Ling, we don't really have Peaches out here. Yeah. You know, especially, like, mid-level Peaches. We have, like, no mid-level Peaches. It's hard. She's a very hard character. She's very technical. And like neutral, like neutral is very like hard. But like once you get in, ooh, 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 once you get in, ooh, 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 ooh. wow, that Nerex is gonna miss. Now Blank is uh, poised to just take the stock very soon. Even if he, even if he dies right now, which right. he does. Great catch from Nip. He manages to sneak that dash attack in through all of that uh, pressure. Oh, but I. Nice clean retaliation. Blank puts himself a basically complete stock ahead. Oh. Ooh, that was cute. Yeah. I like how he held it. <laughs> like he didn't he didn't flinch, he just held it. Well I mean, it. keep in mind that when Peach is holding the turn up, she can do float cancel aerials, but yeah. when she's on the ground, her options are more limited. Yeah. I mean she can get into float like pretty quick. Her options are not yeah, she can obviously still do the float cancel aerials, but if she's holding turnip, you know, it she can't do like grab, for yeah. instance. If you, especially if Game Watch is holding a bucket in front of her. Yeah. And they're starting to put some on the board, but same could be said for blank, so he, he needs to. <gasps> oh, that would have been so good, but an amazing timed counter from blank. Oh, oh and they up smash, weeding the tech roll in. That's going to be a two stock for Blank. He's looking pretty nice right now. And I yeah. do want to mention, because Bobo is in loser's bracket, oh. yeah, he's oh. seated third only oh. against Nell. But those two, I'm pretty sure they go back and forth. Mm. You know? He's uh, Blank, Blank is Nelvin? in serious contention for taking it tonight. So I think he wants to you know, go all the way with that. Yeah. This this is like a... Like, this, this match can uh, kind of, like, determine the rest of the set, I want to say. Not the set, the tournament. Because like if uh, if Blank and Bobo have to fight like early in losers, that's gonna be huge. And Nip can't definitely do it. Like he needs to start to change. Some, he needs to start changing some stuff up. What an aggressive start to game two on FD as well. Uh, I feel like like FD might give uh, Nip just kind of like the 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 advantage that he needs, where it's just like getting more off of your head and like your less trapping. Now, one thing I'd say, he, you're right, absolutely, he's being more aggressive this game, throwing out a lot more aerials, being comfortable, like, chasing down Blank, which, on the one hand, it's working out for him right now. However, then you get hit. Yeah, then you get hit. When, <laughs> so if, I, you're, I, if you're aggressive, you gotta, you gotta be careful, because you're more susceptible to getting hit. And Peach loves to hit people. Fun fact. 
Oh, that was a wonderful parry on that back air. And he is uh, he's at the nice percent. Oh, great, great strategy from Blank, getting him out of the nice percent. Yeah, that, this that match is not winnable. That would not be nice for him. I'll be only deals like 2%. <gasps> oh. F smash. He didn't get the sweet spot, though. I think at that point, that was still probably that was his best punish. Maybe up smash? I feel up like smash too slow. Uh, yeah, yeah, if he didn't get sweet spot on F smash, he didn't get sweet spot on down smash. Yeah, down smash actually has more range than forward smash. Yeah, it, it also like auto. I want to say it like auto spaces itself, where it's like if you if you get the berry, that is like 99.9% .9 guaranteed tipper F smash. Uh oh. Also, uh, down smash has like no lag. Yeah, no, it has, that thing has like no FAF. Game and Watch is smash attacks in general. Very, very quick. It's anyway. Like, it's like the best smash set in the game. I mean, it's is, there, there. is there any... I think if he had a faster up smash, I feel like there maybe is a character with like a really fast up smash out of shield. Yeah, but like, like in general though, like all three smash attacks, like combined, like, bro, come on. Come on. Like, they, they, like, they work so well for each other. Because like, even though Game & Watch has like Nair, Wolf. Yeah, no, you're right. Wolf also. I knew there was one character. Wolf. I'm like, who has a broken down smash? Wolf. I think Wolf probably has better smash attacks overall, just because purely because of uh, up smash is like a fast thing. Yeah, it's just like it's just like one saving grace for shield, even though it's still like kind of slow because it's like frame frame 13. That's not too it's fast, oops. but like it works. It works. Oh yeah. I. Anyways. I'm, anyways. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Wolf is not on screen. Instead, we're seeing the game and watch. And I will say that like. Getting back to that character, up smash out of shield, not necessarily a huge loss for him because he has up B. How did that not hit? I've never seen Game & Watch up B be that close and not hit. What? Uh, it might have been a hurtbox shift from Peach. Probably. Probably. Uh, Maybe they secret nerfed it for this, this one match. The shadow nerf? The sleeper nerf? Anyways. Uh, ooh. Oh, that was a great forward tilt beating out the back. Uh, sorry, the, the side B, the Peach bomber. And that, I'd say that Nip, obviously, he's doing much better this time around. I think that aggressive game plan is working out for him. However, the game is not finished just yet. He has to get a kill here, and that's when things can get really tricky. Ooh. An amazing read on Blank's part. He saw he was landing with that bucket all the time, and it was uh, working up until I really, it wasn't. I really don't like that bucket, because, like, Blank already threw his turn. So, like, why bucket? Like, uh, other than, like, stalling your uh, momentum, like, why? Yes, uh, oh, however, at the same time, uh, there was a lot of conditioning involved. He was not getting punished for doing it until that point. Yeah. He was just like, oh, I can bucket and, like, you can can't relax. punish it. He doesn't know how. Blank clearly experienced in this match. Ooh, 80% on Nip. 92. Oh, yeah, well, this looks like a... This is looking... Quite curtains. And Game & Watch might have really nice smash attacks, but killing does not necessarily come easy to him. What? Blank takes the set. Yo, he actually... Stuck in game two.